at the spot, being pretty prepared here. That's the best way to go fishing is to be prepared. So yeah, got the gloves out. We are dead baiting for tarpon today. Really excited. The other day we did really well and we're here at the right tide. So the tide is just getting going now. So we should have a lot of action. Just started spotting the tarpon. So I'm just drifting back my bait along with the current right behind the boat. And as soon as I spot one, I just start to drift it back and hopefully the fish will turn around and eat it. Um, but sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So I just drift it back for a good distance, like 50 yards or so, maybe less. And then I'll just reel it back in. But I'm basically just free lining it out like I do at the Bia Honda Bridge when we tarp and fish over there with crabs. Here he is again. Yeah, I do. Just casting it out because they're not feeding aggressively. Something picked it up, something picked it up. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, big one. Huge one, he's wrapping me up in the bridge. We're gonna get broke. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're in the bridge, dude. We are in the bridge. I can't, I don't wanna lose him. Hang on. I don't know. Dude, we're broken off. There's no way. No way, he's wrapped up in the bridge. You think he's through, all the way through, the yellow's out. Can't reel. Can't reel. He's pulling drag. Broke. I think we lost all that braid. There's no stopping that monster, dude. No stopping him. He was huge. All right, there was no stopping that fish. That was an absolute tank of a fish. Just broke off like 200 feet of line at least. Uh, so we gotta get re-rigged here. Let's get back on them. Wow. Tank. Oh, yeah, yeah, just ate it, just ate it. Deshaun? I just saw him come up in the thread. Deshaun hasn't jumped yet. Try to keep him away from the bridge this time. Whoa! Oh, huge sharpen. Fish on. We were starting to lose hope there for a little bit. She wants to go to the bridge though. Whoa. Nice run. All right, Fry's got the boat in gear. I'm just gonna have to reel as fast as I can, catch up to this fish and get on him. Getting closer, really head shaking. Leader, we're on him. There's my tarpon, we got him. The leader's through. Fish will catch just like that in about like a minute. Beautiful fish. Heck yeah. 
Heck yeah. He ain't done yet. We got the leader through. What? I just did like two clicks. Yeah. He ain't done. So we had like a little lull there of catching no fish after breaking off the first tarpon on the bridge. And when that happened, um, we just started chunking more and getting more dead bait out. And then I finally just saw like three tails moving in real fast. And I thought they were going to eat it. And sure enough, they did one of those fish. So we got a nice tarpon. Beautiful tarpon. And he's just dragging the boat right now, wearing himself out. Check him out. That's a beauty. Oh, he's huge. He's got to be like, I don't even know. He's massive, though. Whoa, dude, that's a huge fish. Head shaking. Woo! He's going out, he's going out. Oh, okay. We got you! Yeah, he is lip hooked right on the top. Perfect hook set. We got a perfect hook set on this fish. I just saw my hook, it's right in the upper lip, which is exactly what we want because the last couple times when they get hooked in the mouth, they wear out the leader. So he's not able to wear out the leader the way he's hooked. This is perfect. Circle hook doing its job. Woo, baby. Look at that fish. There you go. His tail. All right, guys, here we go. We got Puddin to help me here, leader in the fish. Uh, so I'm gonna walk back here. We're gonna try to get him to the boat here and get him landed, see what happens. It's under the boat. Okay, so these fish breathe air, and he just took a nice breath of air. Let me reel. I gotta get him turned again. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Was a big fish. Nice, Brian. That just wore him out shaking like that. Come here, old fat. Got him. Don't got him. whatever just really want to get close to one of those bad boys and just hold on to him he literally bent out my circle hook that's how powerful these fish are that's exactly what just happened so bent the circle hook out popped right out but we had him close to the boat for a good while there and he just those fish are so powerful you don't you think you have them and then you don't and as soon as brian grabs the leader multiple times that fish pushes out and gets away like 10 foot and at least he swam away strong, that's what we want to see. And at least he was lip hooked too, that was awesome. Um, we caught him, really cool shots of him. Just really want to like get my hands on a beast like that and just hang on, try to hang on. 
but really cool. Maybe we can get another one, see what happens, but glad to share that experience with you guys because that's the one we've got closest to the boat so far down here in the Keys. Another great job, though, Sizzle. You really deserve a land shark for that effort. Thanks. Tarpon fishing is no joke. It's hard work, and those fish fight from start to finish. They yeah. don't let go. Yeah, did you see her huffing and puffing out there? Yeah. <laughs> Working hard? Yeah. <laughs> that Building was great. those muscles. That was awesome. But uh, for the techniques that we use in this video, or the Darcy used to catch the fish, that is in a prior video from the Keys. And this is just another video in our month long series. So we got more videos coming up. But I'll put a link uh, for that and also down in the description. And I promise in the next video, because we've already shot it, Darcy definitely gets one to the boat and gets her hands on it. So that's totally awesome. Yes. So thank, Yay. Yeah, awesome. So thanks, Land Shark, for allowing us to come down to the Keys. Thank you for watching. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers first.